Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide, the channel where we talk about men's style, self-development and personal grooming. And welcome to my favourite season of the year, autumn. As you can see behind me, the leaves are now well on their way off the trees and we're starting to enter that season here in the United Kingdom, which is a little bit cooler and a great opportunity for us chaps to break out some of those traditional favourites of our sartorial offering to the world. For me, I like to get the old tweed jacket out, the leather boots, the flannel slacks, all those things that make you a little bit cosier, a little bit warmer, but bring a great deal of texture and interest to the way that you dress as well. And this comes in a spectacular contrast, of course, to the warmer months of summer, which we've just leaving behind, where for the most part, we wear short trousers, short sleeve shirts, t-shirts, a much more casual time of the year, some would say. And then we kind of enter the formality of autumn where you know we look very different to what we did a few months ago. So thanks for joining me today. And this is gonna be my super six do's and don'ts for dressing well and avoiding making those style mistakes in the autumn months. Now my first tip for avoiding making those style mistakes in the autumn is to wear the right materials for the season that you're in. Now your linens and your cottons and your lightweight clothes, they're great for the summer and the warmer months, but here in the autumn, if you continue to wear those linen jackets, you will look like somebody who perhaps lacks a bit of taste and certainly lacks the knowledge of what you should be wearing in the right seasons. Well, for me, Autumn is a place where I get the old tweeds out, the corduroy trousers, the flannels, the woolen jumpers and the woolen blazers, because that's the right environment for the clothes now. It's this time of year where they keep you warm and they add lots of texture and color to the clothes that you'll be wearing for the next few months and into the winter as well. So don't be that person who dresses out of season, who's got those summer clothes on at the wrong time of year. Get your winter woolies out or your autumn specials. Look the right man in the right place at the right time and you won't go far wrong. Now my second tip when it comes to dressing in the autumn and avoiding style mistakes is actually layering. Now layering is great. It allows you to wear different sort of layers of clothes, brings lots of interest to the clothes that you're wearing and texture as well, as we've said before, but you have to make sure you do it right. Layer correctly. Make sure that when you're wearing layers, they're not hanging out, your shirt's untucked under your jacket and all of these other mistakes that you can make by displaying your layers incorrectly because it'll mark you out as somebody who doesn't pay attention to the way that you dress even though you're going to have more layers over your clothes than you've had in the last previous couple of months. So pay attention to the layering. Don't look like a shoddy or sloppy dresser and you will look sharp into the autumn months. Now my tip number three follows very close on the heels of that layering advice and that is make sure that your undergarments are undergarments and not visible from your outer clothing and particularly the offender here is the undershirt or the vest. If you're in the habit of wearing an undershirt in the winter which is great to keep you warm it allows you to stay nice and cozy without wearing too many visible layers which is a very good way of just wearing the classic outfit like I am today. If you're wearing your shirt open collared not wearing a tie and your undershirt is visible well you've just broken the style rule of your undershirt becoming a visible garment. If you do find yourself in that situation, if you're going to wear your shirt collar open and your undershirt is poking up visible, my best advice is to get yourself a V-neck undershirt. They, they cost no more or no less, but they allow you to stay in control of the layering of your clothes to make sure you look like a tasteful dresser and that your undershirt is not poking out from your shirt, spoiling the look of your autumn ensemble. Now my tip number four is to avoid pleather. Now at this time of year, it's when you're most likely to go to your wardrobe and pull out those leather jackets, which I admit are great, they're stylish, they look wonderful on a man at this time of year. They're great in the weather as the wind picks up and you start to feel those cold chills, but 
If you're thinking about going down a cheaper route and investing in a pleather jacket to save some money, stop right there, don't go any further. Because I remember an occasion back in 2004, I was on a driving trip around um, the southern states of the US and I found myself in the beautiful city of Flagstaff in Arizona. Not at all expecting there to be snow on the ground and sub-zero temperatures. Now I was traveling with a good friend of mine, collaborator for the channel, John Williams, you've met him before. And we walked into a Ross Dress for Less shop. I've no idea if they're still in business in the US. And I bought myself a, a nice little bomber jacket. And John, being a bit of a cheapskate, bought himself a $25 three quarter length pleather jacket, as you can see in this image. And I have to say, for the rest of the trip, I teased him that he looked like Steven Seagal on a bad day. That pleather, it just does not look the same as leather. It doesn't allow your body to perspire properly. It gathers sweat. The odor will soon start to follow you around and it is not a stylish and snappy way to dress. So if you want to get into leather this year, but you don't have the money, save up and buy yourself a leather jacket next year. It's so much better than going down the pleather route. Stay away from pleather unless you want to look like Steven Seagal. Now my tip number five to avoid autumn style mishaps is to wear the right footwear for the season that you find yourself in. Now whilst those all leather dress shoes look fantastic for formal occasions and they look great in the summertime, they're less capable when it comes to those winter months and you find yourself slipping and sliding on the wet uh, pavement and the icy conditions which won't be very far away with those leather soles. For me, autumn is a time that I actually look forward to pulling out my boots out of uh, storage where they've been in the summer months, particularly those with the day-night soles that give you far better traction and far better grip when you're walking around in the damp, wet and icy conditions that are just about to land wherever you live in the northern hemisphere in, at this time of year. But get those winter boots out, you know that you've got capable footwear for the season that you're in, you won't look out of place and you'll be ready for the elements when they arrive. Now my tip number six for staying stylish in the autumn and avoiding those style mistakes is to transition your colognes for the right time of year. Now for me, I'm a huge cologne fan I, and you'll know that if you watch this channel, I often review them here. And I definitely draw a line between colognes which work well in the warmer months and the cooler months. And at this time of year, I definitely head towards those cooler month uh, colognes which I know work far better in the winter and the autumn time. Now, for me, typically, I like sort of zesty, clean, fresh fragrances, which work well in the summer. They tend to be citrus oriented. They tend to be these sort of aqua fragrances, which really, you know, definitely lend themselves to the summer and the spring. In the autumn and the winter, I tend to prefer more musky, more uh, woody oriented fragrances. Today, I'm actually wearing uh, Corum Silver, which is absolutely a woody fragrance and very much appropriate for the, for the environment I'm standing in today. And also in the winter time, you know, they tend to be a much more stronger fragrances, work better in those damper, uh, cloying, colder days. And powerhouse fragrances, from whatever era you're from, but I'm very much from uh, the 90s and the noughties myself, so I like your Aramises and your Corums and your Dracar Noirs. They work very well for me in these months. And I leave those summer zesty fragrances for something to look forward to as the months tick along and I look forward to meeting them again in the spring and the summer next year. Now, thanks for staying tuned. And as a bonus for staying with me to the end of my six style mistakes to avoid, I've got a bonus for you. And that is 
Don't let the traditional colour palette of winter and autumn drag down your opportunity to express your personality in the colours that you wear. You'll see most people heading towards the earthy colours, the rust colours, the greens, the, the muted reds and obviously the blacks and the greys all come out in your outer clothing at this time of year. But you can still put a flash of colour into your clothes by strategically placing a little pocket square, a tie or a scarf when you're walking around in your outer clothing just brings more colour to your palette. It allows you to stay uh, effervescent and bubbly when other people see you just by keeping those colours fresh and unlike what other people will be wearing. They're all going down those dark and drab colours now, but you don't have to. Stay zingy and connected with colour even though the autumn months have changed and the leaves have fallen off the trees. Well, thanks for joining me today for these style mistakes to avoid in autumn. I hope they've been some benefit to you and I will see you soon walking around looking sharp and dandy in your finest autumn and winter clothes. Until the next time we meet back here at the Chaps Guide, I bid you well. I hope you enjoy the transitioning seasons and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Until then, take care.